Hello guys, welcome to Deep Codes and in today's video we will discuss lead code question 72 that says edit distance. So in this question you are given two strings word1 and word2. You need to perform some operation like inserting a character, deleting a character and replacing a character on word1 to make it similar to word2, correct? And in the end we need to return minimum number of operation required to convert word1 to word2, okay? So if you take a look at this example, we have horse as a word1 and ROS as a word2. So in this, uh, the you have they have given one solution in this that if you replace H with R, then it will become R O R S M. So this is one operation. In uh, if you remove uh, R, then it uh, this R this between one R, then it will become R O S M. And in the end, you will remove this E, it will become R O S. So here in three operation, you can convert this uh, H O R S into R O S. Okay, got it. Uh, but another way also you can have you could have do this uh, is uh, if so you have H R S C initially then you have deleted this H then it become O R S E then uh, again if you have deleted this O then it it will become R S C you have deleted this E you it will become R S and you have inserted this what here O then it will become R O S but this will take how many steps one two three and four this will take four operation or four steps. So yeah, it is not efficient. Three is efficient here. So we did this way. Got it? Here in this example also, uh, if we have word one, uh, I N T E N T I one intention and execution in as a word two. So these are the steps they have shown in the explanation. Uh, that firstly we remove T from this uh, this T. Okay. Then then what we are doing? We are simply replacing I with E. So this initial I is replaced with E. Then we are replacing N with X. The second and this n is replaced with x then we are replacing n with c so here is n that is replaced with c and at the uh, end all at the end in the last step we are inserting u so after the c we have we are inserting u so these are the five steps uh, that we perform in this word intention to make it similar to execution so i hope you guys understood uh, the question here that we have to perform this three different operation on different characters of the word one to make it's similar to word two. So some things are clear from here that uh, here we have choices, right? Choices at every step. And what choices are, are they? They are simply these three that is insert, delete and replace. Let me write it simple as I comma re uh, replace comma delete. These three choices you have. So based on the choices, what we can do, we can write a recursive code. Okay. So, uh, but, but before that, let me explain you that how the decision tree or this recursion tree will be get formed. So for an example, let's assume that if you have word one as A, B and E and word two as, uh, let me take it as B, C, uh, sorry, C, B. Okay. You have something uh, and C, B. Uh, EF something like this okay let me keep it as simple so oh, let's okay and if you have word to like CB now you want to convert this word 1 to word 2 okay so uh, we will take this word 1 we will take this first character first character we have three choices insert then replace then what delete so if you what uh, so now in order to make this word 1 equal to word 2 what we will do we can either insert this for character c then it will become c a b e if we replace a with c it will become c b e and if we delete this a it will only be remain b e okay now from this c a b here also we have what three uh, three choices like that is insert replace and delete so if you are here uh, we are comparing just the first character now whenever uh, the first character will match so a character match whenever the first character will match what we would do we would check for the second character for each word so for any word that we are checking if the first if the character match so if we are we are here if both the character matches then we will try to check for the second character so here the second character is a a and c doesn't match then what we can do we can either insert and second character of b also so so a and b we will compare okay second character of word word and second character of word two we will compare a and B. So either what we can do, either do you, we can insert B, then it will be C B A B E. If we can replace A with B, then it will be C B B E. Or we can either delete this A, then it will be C 
BE. Okay, got it. Yeah, and here also. Now, as you can see, the first character of both this word are same. Then we will compare the second character of word one, second character of word two. Simple as that. So now, as you can see, that both the characters of uh, the second word is also the same, right? This here it is B, here it is P. Then we will check for the third character, right? This third character E. Now, is there something like that? There is something beyond B. No, there is nothing beyond B. So in that case, what we will do? We would uh, we would return remaining characters because on the remaining characters we can't insert insert we can't replace only we can delete and what we would we would delete remaining characters so we return remaining characters as our answer got it uh, okay now for this b we have again three choices we have we compare first the first character here and first character here they are same then we have three choices insert replace delete uh, and yeah, this way completely our answer goes on until we find the efficient solution correct so this is how uh, our decision tree or this recursion tree keep on building until all the possible answers are found. Got it? So if you try to write a code for this recursive solution, the total number of subtree possible for this recursive solution would be three to the power of n. N is the size of the word, right? This is a very large number. So we cannot write the, this recursive code. So what we need to do? We need to do recursion plus memoization using help of DP. Uh, and this will reduce our time complexity would to big of n to the power of 3. See, you might be seeing why 3 because at average stage we are performing 3 operation insert, replace and delete and that's why we have 3 in this time complexity here 3 to the power n and n cube. So yeah, by using recursive plus memorization our time complexity would be much reduced. So now let's move on to the code part where we will understand this. See, this question is pretty much simple that since we have a direct 3 choices like insert, delete and replace we will do the same thing as told in the question right we don't have to do or think any much further see uh, initially i we have this dp we uh, store minus one into dp and call the function solve so in the solve function if uh, i1 equals to zero that means see we are here i am traversing from the back from the n and the m so i1 equals to, is to zero that means there are no elements left then we return i2 because this many numbers of characters need to be deleted these are all remaining characters that need to be deleted similarly if i2 equals to 0 then these many characters need to be deleted correct okay as i have already told you that uh, the remaining characters uh, would be deleted as you can see this e was the remaining character and it must be deleted there is no other option like you cannot insert or replace that it has to be deleted so yeah we re simply return the number of characters that are remaining then this is the dp, uh, DP uh, code that we if we check that if we have some solution there, then we return that our answer then we check that if uh, the character matches so if a character matches then we don't have to do anything we neither do insert now no delete no re, uh, replace operation we don't do anything and if nothing of this if condition uh, works then what we will do our code will reach here and we would perform all these three recursive see we are calling the function again and this is where recursion occur got it and each time we are doing i minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 um, is checking the front character and only in the replace part you can see we are doing uh, we are extracting one character from both because let's say uh, uh, let's say here i is replaced with e that means i and e will certainly match i is replaced with e so that means this first this character will be has become and this is already e so this will e both will already match yeah so that's why we are doing minus 1 from both because by replacing we have matched the character right so yeah no need to check for that character again correct so yeah this is how the replace work delete is as simple that we have some extra character and we delete from that word word one correct simple as it is and insert is and insert is we are just doing from the word two and you and if you are confused that why only why i2 minus one so because in insert what we are doing let's say we have word e f g here this first and here let's say a b this is first and now if you at this point you are inserting see both the character don't match you are inserting then it will become a e f d you have inserted this so our i1 will all will point to this e it will point to this e but here for the second word it will point to next right it will point to next so our next is what i2 minus 1 i1 remains that it is but our next is i2 minus 1 so that's why in insert position we are just changing the index of for the word 2 so this uh, clears that what we are doing here right 
and in the end we are simply taking the minimum of all these three operation that is minimum of insert and minimum of delete and replace and storing it to this dp so this is a simple recursive code that is memoized with the help of this dp and the size is 501 and into 501 because the total length is 500 so yeah we took 501 and 501 uh, as the size of the dp it is 2d dp because we are using two variables here in this recursive code got it so yeah i hope you guys understood the recursive solution how this recursive tree is built and yeah if you are still uh, difficulty in understanding the recursive tree then i advise you to build this recursive tree on your own so once you try to build this then you will get more idea of how recursion work overall it was a simple question of recursive plus memorization also it is very much standard question for the interview so make sure you uh, go through this question very well you must have complete understanding of this question of all these three function right uh, so yeah that's all for this video from my side and yeah for the time complexity i have already discussed the time complexity here and the space complexity is big o of n square as you can see this dp we are using and some space complexity will be also used in this tag but yeah, overall you can see the space complexity is big o of n square so yeah that's all for this video from my side make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel thank you